today is so busy, it's just untrue. I have just got to remember, this needs to be an easy to edit video. Door has to be unlocked. I know you did, monkey. Oh, I know, I can hear. Yeah, so we're just here for, uh, well, Jasper's here for a play date and I'm just joining. A little bit late, but you know, better late than never. I'm also hoping I'm gonna get the opportunity to fly my drone, which is great because I might need it in the next few days. And I just want to, what's the word? Make sure everything's still working fine. So this is effectively a kind of training flight. Yeah. Get ready for the track what? ride. You're going on the tractor? Wow, come on over here, Jasper. Let's put, your Let's put your shoes on over here, monkey. Careful, careful. God, he's so desperate. Oh. Five minutes, sorry, I just need... Something in the oven, and then... Time for that test flight. That was an awesome fly. Absolutely brilliant. Right, I think that's the end of the fun and games now. I'm just gonna have some lunch, head on home, and then I've got to get everything charged, finish off the planning, all that sort of thing. All ready for the next couple of days, hopefully. And what I was also gonna talk about today, which I totally have not got around to talking about yet, is you know the potential for a lithium shortage if everything winds up going EVs, as I believe it will. <laughs> so busy. You know, I need to do an emergency editing job, get that sorted out, and then it's load the car, pack, make sure I've got everything, because once I've left, there's no coming home. Well, hopefully I will come home, but not for a few days. Better remember to plug the car in as well, that's usually a good idea. Well, I'm gonna make a quick coffee, I think, before I, uh, crack on. So I read an interesting article recently, link is in the description, that was basically all about we might struggle to find enough lithium on this planet in order to actually create all the EVs required to replace 100% of the vehicles on the road plus stationary storage and things like that. I don't really subscribe to this, I mean there's some maths in it and it kind of makes sense but it's one of these things where people are gazing into the future and assuming that the future is going to work the same way as the past, which by and large it doesn't. Principally, I think the point is that in the future, when lithium starts to become scarce from the current easily obtained sources, then things which are not currently economically viable will actually start to be doable. And that will help increase the supply of lithium available for 
the 100 gigafactories that are mentioned in this particular article. And there's another massive thing that's missing from this. There is an assumption that lithium is being used up and so therefore, you know, the, the max of 50 years worth of available recoverable lithium supplies is not going to be enough. But of course, if you don't use up the lithium, if you recycle it, which is not economically viable at the moment for the most part, but it certainly will be when there's no more lithium and we still want to make lithium ion batteries, assuming we do want to continue to make them. At that point, recycling will just be part of what we do and hopefully that will lead to the kind of economies of scale and efficient processes that will make it cheap enough and easy enough to do. As one of the people said in the comments, and I strongly believe this, it's basically a just add solar panels kind of problem. Provided you've got enough energy, there is more or less nothing that you can't do. It's all about access to energy, which is why if we can get the renewable, or as I like to call it, infinite energy sources properly online, then we're gonna be able to solve any problem we want. And in order to get that infinite energy source to a usable point, we need to be able to store and buffer the energy, which is where batteries come in. And at the moment, that means lithium ion batteries, which is why I am so supportive and encouraging of you know, what Tesla are doing with Tesla Energy and also with their cars and all the other various, you know, EV manufacturers out there that are pushing the industry forwards. I strongly believe that they are basically the future of humanity in the process of occurring. And I don't think that there's going to be a significant shortage of lithium. Yes, the price will go up, the price will go down, the price will go sideways, we'll find new resources to mine, maybe extracting it from seawater or from, you know, the, the briny concentrate that comes out the other end of a desalination plant. Perhaps that's going to be economically viable in the future. Who knows, there's other byproducts that come from that as well. It's not just lithium. You factor all that in and the economic viability is achievable. But basically, the one thing I definitely do not think is a good idea is to go, oh, well, it's a big problem. There could be issues in 50 years time. So let's not even start that process. Let's just burn all the oil we can find. Like that solves anything. I think my coffee's finished now, more or less. Okay, step one. We're taking Jasper to his grandparents. That's the uh, job for the remainder of today. Okay. Well, we're here and <sighs> so that's good. We can relax, well, do my editing so that tomorrow's video is, is ready to go because I've only been in the car the whole day, which is why we're here at Jasper's grandparents. I need to somebody to look after him for a few days because I'm gonna go see what will hopefully be a couple of very interesting classic cars that have been converted to run on battery power. So that's extremely exciting. So that's where I'm going tomorrow, off to Wales, and then hopefully the next day we get to see these EV conversions and, and then obviously we're coming home. Uh, but that's not the kind of journey I want to try and do with a three and a half year old in the car hence the grandparents. So thank you very much, Gigi and Grandpa. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, remember to like it, share it and subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog. Bye. Hey Jasper, was that we super fun? One later, but it's, you said you wanted your lunch. Was that super fun, Jasper? I don't want my lunch. Jasper wants lunch. Jasper always wants food. <laughs> you alright there, monkey? Well we'll go for enough we'll go for